Hey everybody and welcome back. We are finished our application of the bias darken flat frames and that means we are on to the next problem. Only some of you will experience this problem. You'll know if this problem has been experienced if when you're, you look at your exoplanet data form, the hour angle changes from negative to positive. All that means is that the star has moved across the middle of the sky, the middle of the sky being an invisible line, an imaginary line, drawn between the North Pole and the South Pole, um, right through the middle of the sky. So if it has moved across that line, the telescope will have had to have flipped upside down to take images of it so that the telescope did not injure itself. Uh, and that's called a meridian flip. So we're going to import our image sequence. Uh, we want it from, let's see, last 52B, right? Okay, so this is what we want. This is our, our unanalyzed data sequence. We want to go into pipeline out, which is the sequence that we uh, applied dot bias darks and flat, flat frames to. Uh, and open that up starting at the first one. So 360 frames starting at the first image, we'll open those up. So here are our the, the first frames that we've processed. Everything looks good. There's a couple problems with them. The biggest one, well, it drifts. We'll fix that later. The biggest problem is that right about here, it flips upside down. So that's not great because if we're trying to do an analysis, let's say on this star, uh, and then it continues onto these frames, suddenly that star won't be there anymore. So we want to find the frame when it first flips. There it is. So it's, this is the first flipped over frame. And you can see the name of the frame up here uh, just below the menu bar on this particular window. It says 331 out of 360. So that's an important number to remember. If you want, you can write that down, that the meridian flipped happened at 331. Um, the other number that you might want to remember just for the sake of knowing, <laughs> unfortunately it's very similar, knowing when uh, in our image sequence, it's going to flip. It's in the name of the file, it's number 350. So that's the first one that we want to worry about. We'll keep that up just as a reminder to ourselves. Now we want to organize our folders because we're going to do some stuff with this. This is one of the more complicated steps. So find your folder where this data is saved. So here's our two main folders. Um, we're going to create a new folder. This one we're going to sit call pre -mer meridian flip images. We're going to add a folder that's called post meridian flip images and we're going to add a folder that's called processed meridian flip images okay so we have our three folders here are this is our raw data here what we want to do is copy this in chunks so for before the meridian flip we know that this is file number 350 so up until 349 appears here. We're going to want to copy all those. There's 349. So that one all the way to the top. Copy that, Control C. And then we're going to take those to the pre meridian flip images file and paste them there. Perfect. Let's make sure that the numbers are okay by going to the bottom. And it says 349. Perfect. Now we're going to take the other, oopsies, too far. Now we're going to take the other ones from pipeline out, so the ones that are 350 all the way to the end, and we're going to copy those. And we're going to take those to post meridian flip images and paste them. Okay, so we've got our two chunks of files in there separately. Now, as I mentioned, Astro MSJ isn't the best program in the whole wide world. So what we're going to do first is we're going to import our image sequence. This time we are going to import the photos that are in the post meridian flip. Starting at the first one, that's 30, makes sense, bring them all in. So this is one where the star is up in this corner when it should be down here. To flip these ones, we have to go process, flip data, or sorry, rotate data 90 degrees clockwise. We've got all of them there. Perfect. You want to make sure that this is at the very front, otherwise it sometimes only processes the second half or anything after this, this marker. So pull it all the way to the front. You can do that one more time, nine degrees clockwise. There we go. Okay, all of our data is now correctly oriented. Perfect. What we want to do is go to File and then Save, sta save Stack as Sequence. We're going to save them as dot .fits. So this is slightly, this is a bit of a problem. It's a slightly different file name than our other one, which was .fit, even though it's to say essentially the same file. Um, and they're going to actually come out with the same file names. Mm 
but we get to choose where they're going to go. So we're going to put them in the processed Meridian Flip images. Save. Perfect. We're all set there. We can close this up. Next, because they're slightly different image sequence or slightly different endings of their file types, so this is dot fits, we actually need to change even the ones that we don't need to flip, which are the pre meridian flip images, they're dot fit instead of dot fits. So we actually have to import them and save them as a dot fits instead. So we're going to import all those. These are the ones in the pre meridian flip folder. So these are all the ones where the stars in the right the star is in the right spot. And what we're going to do is go file, save stack as sequence, make sure that's dot fits. Um, and we're going to hit save those in the processed Meridian Flip images. Don't worry about this, it's going to save with that name anyway. Save. All right. That's it for Meridian, Meridian Flips. That's all we have to do. Once this is all saved, it may take a little bit longer this time, so give it a few minutes to adjust itself. Once it's all saved, we can import our new image sequence, the one that's all of the things, all the frames that we have flipped upside down. So it's still processing. That's why this isn't working. Um, we can import all of our all of our frames the right side up just to make sure. So now we are in processed Meridian flip images. We'll select the first one. And this, with any luck, perfect, should say 360. So that was the number that we came in with. Uh, and starting image one. If this number is different than your original number of frames, something's going wrong and try following this tutorial through again from the beginning and click OK. Oh, we're out of memory. OK, so sometimes this is a bit of a problem. Sometimes you run out of memory with Astro MSJ. Just close the previous sequence, try it again. So once again, process Meridian Flip images, open those up. We're all good. Astro MSJ only gets a certain amount of memory dedicated to this uh, to itself. Okay, let's take a look through and let's hope that these are good. Okay, there's a little bit of sliding around here, but that's okay. We can fix that. These are all looking pretty, pretty good to me. Excellent. So we have flipped our images over. We're all set. And the next step is to stabilize them because, uh, of course, we can't take data if our target's moving around. So join us next time. We'll stabilize our images. And once we have that, then we can finally get around to processing them. See you next time, guys.